Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two Mexican candies. Uh, this is the, uh, they're both by the El Super Leon. Uh, this is the tamarind candy. And they have spiced serpentina. So these are really cool. Uh, these are actually on a spoon. These look scary. <laughs> well, this could be scary too, I don't know. Um, this uh, tamarind candy has uh, sugar, corn syrup, guajillo chili, citric acid, salt, tamarind flavor, and xanthan gum. Uh, one ounce, there's two servings in the container and it's 60 calories. Two, two, two and so, a half spoons. So let's see. So, two servings, yeah. So, yeah, so two and a half. So, I'm curious of how hard this is. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty firm. So, I wondered what is Guajillo Chili's. That it says the dry form of a uh, mis uh, mis Mirasol, the dry form of a Mirasol Chili, the second most commonly used dry chili in Mexican cuisine after Poblanos. So, you take one and I'll take one. And I, we, we have to put the whole thing in your mouth. The whole thing. No, I was gonna try to bite it. I don't know if you can try to bite it. I've got the rubber, band, rubber bands around them. Yeah, I like the packaging. I think this is cute. They look homemade. Yeah, they do. It looks like something that, uh, like something they would do around here in their kitchen. Yeah, you might not be able to take the whole thing off the spoon. It might be hard like a sucker, is that yeah, what you're saying? Know. Interesting. Mm hmm. Mm. I got a hug of it. Mm. I like the texture of it. The texture is sugar and grainy. Yeah. You don't like the flavor. You don't like the flavor? Oh, no, that's spicy. Mm hmm. I like the spiciness of it. Um, I like the texture of it. It's like a. It's like brown sugar. Yeah, it's very grainy sugar. That's exactly, and I'll have a picture at the end of this close-up so you can see. The flavor has a, like a, um, I don't know, it's kind of a bittersweet kind of. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's like, because your mouth is thinking, do I want to eat more of that? Yeah, I do. Give me more of that. <laughs> yeah. My mouth says don't eat more of that. Really? Yeah, I no, like that. I actually really do like that. It is, there's a sweetness there. Yeah, but it's whatever the little fruit or whatever they use in there. I just don't like But that. it's primarily very spicy, but it's not, to me, it's not like hot. It's not like a yeah. hot sauce. Um, no, it's not that spicy. It's more I like, like mine because really you can really see brown. that. Like, no, we can use them both, but you can really see like a lot of brown sugar detail. Keep them both over here. Um, I, I think that's good. It's not something it's I different. would buy all the time, but I do like it. I think it's cool. It's definitely different. Okay, and this is the Spice Serpentina Natural Fruit Candy. I'm surprised you like that because it almost has like a mango-ish kind of flavor. To it. I know. I really, I think, but I'm mainly tasting the spice, yeah, the that pepper. guajillo chili, yeah. and I like the guajillo chili. I get mostly that mango-y kind of flavor. Um, this is the Spice Serpentina. It has a Mexican hawthorn pulp, sugar, chili powder, citric acid, tamarind flavor, sodium, These like benzonate. They do. Uh, one ounce, 30 grams is 340 calories, and there's two servings. So, 340 calories for two of these because you only get four. That's all. Yeah, there's three calories. servings. Actually, it's less than. Less than. No, it's a two servings. Oh, two servings. Yeah, that's two good. servings are 340 calories. That's a lot. So, that's 340 calories for two of these little discs. Yeah. Wow. So about, well, one's. 65 How in the world is it that many calories? Per disc. That's craziness. Crazy. It looks like a piece of fruit that's been covered with something. Dry Hawthorne pulp. That's we can probably... Uh, would you, so it's like a roll of something. I think we could bite that. Yeah, go ahead. I'll oh. bite mine. You can bite yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like rolled up. Mm-hmm. It's sticky. Ooh, let's get some heat too. All their stuff has spice in it. 
Yes, but that is actually hot. Yeah, I mean hot, hot. The, the tamarind candy was not hot. It gives you a little tingle. It gave you, yes, it gave you a tingle, but it wasn't spicy to where it's gonna hurt your stomach or anything. Yeah. I don't think so. That, I just think it was a nice place. That rolled candy actually stings. This is actually hot, no. yes. It, it, there's a heat to it, like a, um, like a hot sauce. I don't mind the underlying, like whatever fruit they're using. I don't mind that. Um, it's okay. For me, it's a texture thing. Yeah, it's kind of bushy. Yes, and I, I, this would not be something I would choose, and it's because of that texture. Yeah. It, uh, you and know, the, heat. Uh, the, it's like it reminds me. It just seems like I'm eating something I'm not supposed to eat. <laughs> You're like a bug, you know, something like. <laughs> So, I, I just wouldn't. I can't. There's there's certain textures that I'm not good with, and this, I'm just not good with that texture. Like a cockroach. The heat, I can handle the heat. Um, it, it's the texture. But now, the tamarind uh, candy, I like that. I really like that brown sugar texture, and I like the I like the, the flavor of it and everything. I think it's good. Now, if this is the kind of candy they have in Mexico, I would lose tons of weight. <laughs> Because you wouldn't eat Because I wouldn't be in any candy in Mexico. Uh, well, I don't think these are things that uh, you would eat. I don't know. They, uh, you know, there might be people that go to the grocery store every week and buy this tamarind candy it's and like eat it. It's like you would purchase kisses or whatever. Okay, so that's what we want to know. We if you wanna, live down in Mexico. If you, if you live in um, Mexico, yes, let us know. Or I think Aiden... Um, Aiden bought these for us. Did I say that in the beginning? No, but I mean, you might have one. Aiden, if I didn't say your name in the beginning, I'm sorry. Aiden sent these to us. I'm thinking Aiden said that he bought these in Arizona. Right. So that means they're available there as well. So if these are in a place where you buy them, are you eating these daily? Is it a sweet treat? Is it. Um, you know, when do you, how often do you eat this? Is it a novelty candy just that, yeah. you know, that's not really sold down there? They just sell it up here? Exactly, I mean, because they sell novelty candies around here too. It's like, yeah, they sell them, but they don't sell very right. many. Yeah. So let us know if this is something that is very common that you eat all the time. We're curious. Um, and thank you, Aiden, for thinking of us while you were on vacation. We appreciate it, and thanks for watching.